Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 74 of Two Left Thumbs, your source of weekly gaming news and updates. In this week's episode, we are talking about the Xbox Series X is basically a monster gaming PC. Resident Evil 3 demo and the Resident Evil Resistance open beta. Sources close to Sony have two Silent Hill titles in, de in development, Silent Hill's reboot at Japan, uh, Japan Studio and Silent Hill's at Kojima Productions and Control's new DLC shows new powers and new secrets in the foundation. We also have the best weekly deals from a range of publishers across all the gaming platforms. I am Great as a Gamer. Join with me today is the uh, one and only Deaf Puppies. Oi, oi, how you doing? But we are also joined by the amazing Miss Z this week. How are you, mate? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. No worries, no worries. Um, so basically, we just want to know what you've done this week and what how's your gaming week been well i've just come back after a little break it was my son's sixth birthday um but at the moment i'm probably playing a lot of ori and the will of the wisps or the will of the lisps that's what i was like <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it's been a highly anticipated game for me i've really been excited for the release of it um so yeah that's what i'm playing probably the most this week very nice now just Quickly, just go through, give us a rundown of what you do. Where where can people find you? Like, we know you're, you're a streamer, you're on Mixer. Can you give us a bit more information? Yeah, sure. So I started streaming on Mixer uh, probably back in uh, February 2018. So I started my journey on Mixer, still very much on Mixer. So that's that's my primary platform where you can find me. Um, so it's just mixer.com slash Miss C. I'm a variety streamer. Um, literal variety <laughs> so we've got, yeah, I know a lot of people say it but yeah I do play a bit of everything literally so RPGs horrors FPS RTS trading card games I do a bit of web shows where um, I can do some pixel art and perla beads and stuff like that as well so yeah it's taste of the day sort of thing we go through a lot of games a lot of games that's, that's good so mm -hmm. you're not a um, you're not a Fortnite variety streamer as no, yeah, no, not at all, <laughs> not at no. all. I mean, sometimes I do have a bad habit of getting sunk into like, one game and I'll maybe like smash it out for a week, but then I tend to get a bit burnt out and not touch it again for a month or something. But yeah, no. Yeah, there's yeah. always, there's always the temptation life. of that, 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 that yeah. popular BR game. So I just want just, just a little bit of wins. Just... Yeah, awesome yeah, I go through phases. I go through phases with like Rainbow Six Siege. That's like my that's my tactical FPS. I love Siege, so I do sometimes go into a bit of a focus on that. But I, I come back out. I come back out. <laughs> so that's why I was going. You just answered the question. I was going to ask you. So you do have a general genre that you go back to that is pretty constant or consistent that you're um, playing. It's tactical first person shooters. Yeah, multiplayer wise, definitely. Yeah, yep. or uh, Age of Empires Two is definitely a little addiction um, that I love to play as well. But um, I'll always come back to my to my RPGs and my horror games. That's probably my favorite genres. Yeah, good, very good genres to have. Uh, mm -hmm. Poppy, Poppy loves horror genres. Yeah, yeah I love, love them so much. They're great. So, I, I love oh, horror yeah. movies. I, I, I feel it. I hear that enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. Missy, how do you how do you find Mixer? Are you enjoying the enjoying the platform as a whole? Absolutely, yeah. Um, yep. Obviously, uh, there are some issues, um, but as a whole, in my just over two years on the platform, the amount of growth and change I've seen has been amazing. So I'm still positive. I'm still very positive. Um, community wise, though, I don't have a bad word to say. The community is amazing, and I've just even streamers, not just our viewers, but streamers as well, have made some lifelong friends for sure. Yeah, nice, nice. All right. Hmm. Puppies, what have you been doing this week? Me? I played games. I did the thing and I played the games. Um, So we played some of Call of Duty Warzone together, which was good. Yeah, yes, we did. Um, we did. Uh, yeah. I... <laughs> I have a story to share with that. When, uh, when I, I'm keen to hear your thoughts on it, guys, because I've tried it out too. Um, I I don't mind it. It's okay. Right? It's it's a beer. It's a it's a beer. Realistically, mm -hmm. it's it's it's, it's a shoot the dudes. I like the gulag system. That's fun. I think it's hilarious that you can kill people with rocks as a spectator, because the <laughs> yeah. trolling content is oh, it's so good. 
Um, but I, I like the kind of flat to survive. You win, you lose. It, 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 it's it's that one on one kind of situation that you used to get when you know someone threatened you online. All right, fucking one v one me, let's go. <laughs> it brings back that old nostalgic memories. But aside from that, I mean, the shooting solid. The, I I really like the um. What's not the BR mode? What's the other mode? Um, plunder. 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 Yeah, I I like it. It's um. It gives me more of a, a battlefield vibe. Um, the way the whole system works. Yeah, I kind of enjoy that. So it's it's okay. I'm not like super over the moon about it, but I I enjoy playing it from time to time. It's not something I'll play forever, but it's a bit of fun mm -hmm. for now. Um, I think that's with me with most BRs. Um, I was kind of have a game and not then have a game and whatever. But it's it's been alright. Um, aside from that, I've um I've also been into Ori and Will of the Whips. So. Um, <laughs> Will of the Whips. Will of the Whips. It's, yeah, it works though. It works. Not. I don't want to say anything, but it works. But it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's been great. I, I, I've been. I haven't got far. I haven't gone past the where you get out of the the first kind of map, se first or second map area. So I haven't really seen a boss okay. fight yet. Um, so okay, I've done yeah, a lot of exploring. Really um, I've done everything I can on that section of the map without going and getting extra powers that I can't get in that area. So I've been doing a lot of running around, mostly because I got lost for a while and couldn't figure out where I was supposed to go. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're getting there. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's a fucking gorgeous game. Absolutely I gorgeous. I didn't think the game nice could game. get any more beautiful artistically and even musically, and oh, it is just stunning. But yeah, yeah the, it's I mean, the very... first one was amazing too. Oh, it was, but it's. I'm feeling. I don't know if it's just me or not, but it's very Hollow Knight now. This this game. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. 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 They've taken like massive inspiration. So I've beaten it. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Shit. I, Crazy I, machine. I en I enjoyed it. Like it's definitely a massive improvement over the first one. It's good. Like, it just does so many things well. And as far as platform scale wise, so, it's huge compared to the first one, right? Yeah, but it does uh, it. Man, it falls down in some areas. Performance is fucking horrible in some areas. So it's many bugs. You'll, you'll crash. It's crashed my PC. I've had to so, relaunch so many times, yeah. Yeah, it's bad, um, especially when you get later on. The boss fights I found were, while artistically, uh, animation and the design of them are awesome, like they're just amazing, the mechanics behind them are just, just fucking terrible. They, uh -huh. they don't work very well. The hitboxes are way off. Um, you know, when... When you've got like foreground, middle ground, and background, and you're blending a boss fight, uh, you know, into that mechanic where a part of the boss is you can hit that, but then it'll transition back and you can't hit it. But then another part that you couldn't get hit by before will come in and hit you. Yeah. And it and it does it really weird. And it's just it's just not the strong the strong point. I mean, anyone who's played the original game will know that there was. I was gonna say I've, I've 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 had moments like that where I've, I've, I, that should like you get like it, it, like maybe it's just me like the, the self doubt mm. kicks in but yeah mm -hmm. I've I've definitely experienced that not with the bosses so much but um yeah. there's a, there's a yeah. weird area where you like I, I should have dodged that or that shouldn't have happened and it's happening anyway or not happening at all so yeah, yeah. sadly we're seeing an increase in games that really are not releasing well are they like technically wise it's mm. yeah. And Very it's buggy. odd because they delayed it as well. It yeah, amazing, yeah, so. which is sad. And there have been, I think, two patches since release mm. now. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm still, I mean, I think I'm nine hours in. I still have a bit to go, but I'm definitely going to stick it out. I, I love the game enough for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, a... it's not breaking at that no. much. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's fine, but There's it's just those small little things. It was pretty short. I mean, I got... I'm, I've played a lot of 2D platformers. I love them. Like Hollow Knight is just, I love that game to absolute bits. Um, but I got through this in just under eight hours. Eight? Fully I'm completed. on nine hours. Jesus, I'm on dude. nine hours. Slow down. Eight hours? <laughs> and that wasn't, that's not like. Did you side quest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't, I didn't explore every part of it. Like, obviously I can still go back and do quite a bit more, but. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just didn't. I don't know. I didn't really struggle. I, the last boss, for example, um, I didn't die on it. I beat it first go. Like the whole oh, mechanic wow. of the, everything about it, I got oh, shit. first go. And I'm normal not the only difficulty? one. Who's... Yeah, just on normal. Um, okay. But I wasn't the only one. Like, I've seen a few people on Twitter have like, have gone, oh, I got to the end boss and I got through it. Like, mm. first go. I didn't even know what was supposed to happen and I beat it. And so, 
yeah i don't know it's it's a great game everyone should play it if you're into 2d platformers even just to enjoy the art style and all that it is yeah like it is awesome but you can get huge, lost just walking huge around cues from from hollow knight they've uh they've directly pulled from that game oh yeah in, in a lot of aspects so yeah yeah awesome um blackout as well i got into blackout which was uh blackout warzone sorry same basically thing, blackout VR. right yeah, yeah. yeah it's <laughs> the same thing just <laughs> slightly different new modes right new modes new yeah. modes yeah um enjoying that actually it's been a while since i've got um it was a while since i got back into cod um and this recent one modern warfare was the first one i got back into and really enjoyed it um so yeah it's it's insane how they've got this to run so well on a scale 150 people yeah i yeah, i will agree on, on that. console as well this runs on a stock console so that's yeah that, that, that is it's a technical achievement to have that running at 60 frames because call of duty or try out any of them they've got set codes they have to they have to meet for any call of duty title 60 frames is one of them they cannot dip below yeah yeah um so they they do it's just it's a huge technical achievement to pull that off and they want to ramp it up again to 200 players oh wow okay really holy <laughs> that is gonna get chaotic as shit i already I feel like it. 150 is chaotic so maybe they'll bring out a... no no they wouldn't bring out a bigger map that map is pretty fucking large yeah, that's my gripes with the game. So I'm not a huge fan. I felt I'm I'm not a Battlefield fan. I found that the maps were just too big for me. Um, yeah. And I have the same feeling in, in Warzone. And then the 150 people, like, it's just really chaotic in the beginning. And then it's the, yeah, the, I just feel, really feel the scale of the map. Um, probably because it's not uh, optimizing great with my PC and I'm not sure why. But uh, that was another problem as well. But... Yeah, I've had a couple of crashes as well. Um, I just think that's because I haven't. Just dropping a lot of frames and textures aren't loading in for me. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I just had like two or three crashes. Issue. Um, okay. But that could also be a me issue. But yeah, that's weird because I've got yeah I've got all Ryzen gear as well, and I haven't had an issue yet. Yeah, yeah. so it's probably it's probably a me thing. I probably need to yeah. do a, an update or something. But yeah, I wasn't really feeling it. Not not for me. Oh, no, yeah. it's not for they're, everyone. They're not, they're not for everyone, but um, something we're not going to cover in the news anyway is I think they cracked 15 million players. Oh, wow. That Holy is a... Uh, shit. Well, isolation TV. thing going on? Yeah, I see yeah. it. I see it happening. Oh, my God. all the Warzone games being played. <laughs> what, a, what a time for them to release it. Yeah, I Yeah, mean, especially I... being a free-to-play cross-play as well. That's huge, like... I mean, oh, yeah. I'm not saying they they, they, they they had anything to do with this, but it's, it's a lot of luck. <laughs> Foil hats on people. <laughs> I, a lot of businesses could really take a note from it. Like, it, it, yeah, marketing-wise, there's ways to take advantage of, a, of you know, what's going on at the moment, I suppose. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. it seems like uh, Activision have done that. Yeah, maybe. Geniuses. Marketing geniuses. Geniuses, all right. Okay, so... We're going to move on to a new segment that we have. We haven't even come up with a name for the segment. No, we, we haven't. So, guys, now. if you have a name, um, and you'd like to suggest, let us know. You know, we're we're, we're new to this whole guest thing, so help <laughs> us out. You know, we want we want to know. We want input. Give us input. We'll go, we'll go with rapid fire at the moment. We're just going to copy and rip straight from Game Informer and uh, just take this. So. You haven't hey. seen if, you, if you've never seen a game informer do a uh, rapid fire interview, go YouTube it because they are hilarious. They do it with devs and it's it's really good. Oh, so, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit of pressure. Okay, okay. See, are you ready? <laughs> I don't know. Are these yes or no or they, they can be they can be whatever they, you, you can, want. You can generally get them out in they're pretty three or four words really. if you want to. So uh, they're, right, they're, okay. they're, we're not going deep. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, no, no personal okay. things at all. All right, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. You see, this is a rapid fire question for you. Mm -hmm. Favorite food? Mexican. Cat or dog? Dog. Game of the year this year. This year? Yep. Last year. We're still so early. Pick it this year. I can't. I can't. I can't yet. I don't have a game of the year yet. <laughs> Can I just pick one for last year? Sure. Death Stranding. Death Stranding. All right. First console you ever owned? 
a I want to say oh, it's difficult. I I PC was probably like one of the first things I played on uh mm -hmm. or or the Atari Lynx. Yep, that's close enough. Yeah. Close enough. Okay. If you had to choose Mixer, Twitch, YouTube or Facebook, what would you pick? Mixer. Inverted controller or normal? Normal. <laughs> Am I human? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I play. I play inverted. I love it. I can't. Oh, freak. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a freak, and he's finishing games in eight hours. Get out! You guys, you shame guys him. Never, you guys never played Goldeneye, <laughs> or not enough Goldeneye, because you yeah, couldn't. It was always inverted in that. And you couldn't change it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, Fortnite or PUBG? PUBG, I guess. If you had to play one game for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh. Someone asked me this recently. Um, I would probably go with something on the scale of an MMORPG because they're forever adding new content to it, so it sort of stays a little bit fresh because you're definitely going to get sick of playing the same thing over and over and over again. So I would probably go Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's my favourite MMORPG. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Night owl. 100. Keyboard or controller? Keyboard. Favorite genre in gaming? JRPGs. What would you do with your 15 minutes of fame? Oh, 15 minutes of fame. Uh, something to better the world. Something impactful. Okay, give us a non, non answer like that. Just give us, give us something random. Oh. Um, put you on the spot. Pressure, no pressure, uh, no pressure, no pressure. I would, I would know. I don't know. I would, I would uh, get rid of third world countries. Not, not, not in the bad oh, way. Oh wow! Like, not in the third world anymore. <gasps> Delete. <laughs> oh my god! No, that is getting clipped for yet. later. <laughs> That worked. That oh, worked so well. I didn't think it'd work. I put that my way. foot in it, didn't I? <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Oh instinct. shit! I, I can feel the witch hunts already. Stop. <laughs> uh, next, I next... mean, help them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next question. <laughs> next question. Who have you met that you wish you hadn't? Oh my god. Ah, uh, that's a hard one. Got to throw a hard one in there. Yeah, uh, but these are going to be like quick fire. Yeah, it's going to be um, whatever. Uh, Someone you worked with? The dentist? Fuck, I wish I never met the dentist. Uh, I don't know. My real estate company? Perhaps? Yes. Like, then I, I don't like rent. Perfectly serviceable. Like we're on the. <laughs> That yeah. works we'll go with that. Is that okay? Fuck the real estate um, companies and third world really? countries, apparently. Oh my god. <laughs> Get rid of Just them all. like trying to make everyone homeless, apparently. Uh, best game you have played this year so far? Oh, what have we played this year, guys? What have we played? I've played Ari. so many. I haven't finished it yet, though. Oh, but actually. You've played it. Uh, uh, I finally got around to playing Devil May Cry 5. That's oh, probably yes. been, yeah, that's probably been my favorite game this year so far. Fair enough, fair enough. On yeah. a scale of 1 to 10, how cool are you? I mean, I'm pretty fucking cool. Just say it. 11? 11. <laughs> 11. 11 is yeah, good? I mean, yeah. <laughs> 11 and a half? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to think I'm pretty cool. PlayStation or Xbox? I have PlayStation. Come on. If you, were, if you were stranded on a tropical island, what two things would you want to bring with you? Food and water. Okay. Don't give us the boring ones. Oh, <laughs> now I'm boring. Okay. <laughs> no one wants to hear food. And and we've got to balance it out. We've got to balance it out. We've... Uh, um... I'm trying to give you, a, I give, you know, you could bring the people from the third world country if you wanted. Yeah, we're you trying to help you save yourself well, here. I don't know if yeah. I'm taking them to better circumstances or not, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I... <laughs> okay, uh, I, I'd want to bring like someone with me, so I wasn't alone. I don't like being alone. Um, and 
and um, a boat so I could get off that island. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smile. Oh, okay. That's thinking right there. We'll have a holiday and then we'll leave when we're done. Okay, we're in the final couple of questions here. Okay. What okay. city in Australia should not be included on a map and why? What city? Uh... I've never been to Sydney, but I've heard some really horrible things about it. Oh, so, I was born I, there. You can get rid of it. Yeah, I think I think we want to you get rid permission. of Sydney. Yeah. Yeah? Um, we call yeah, it that? Let's get rid yeah, of Sydney. Yeah, I'm good with it. Delete. Right. It's gone. Bye, Sydney. What capital, what capital right. city? It's fine. <laughs> A zombie is about to bust down the door, and you can only save one person. Is it Claire or Leon? Claire. Claire's bae. <laughs> and She's the final question... Favorite. Yeah. What would you say at the funeral for Leon? Boy, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's> Leon! Leon! <laughs> and that is, that is all. Also, everyone, take note that I actually wrote that down. Puppies, you can see that. What would mm-hmm. you say at the funeral for Leon? So I knew you would pick. Yeah, she knew. He knew. He knew. We've been. We've been. We've been stalking. We've been. We've been yeah. doing research. Yeah. And by research, yeah. I mean Gray's yeah. been doing it. I haven't done shit. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, Claire Redfield always, all the way. She's my favorite in the whole always. franchise. Honestly, I just don't like Leon's hair. I've never played the game, but I don't like his hair, so I don't... we'll go with that. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Well, that was the end of that segment. That was um, that was really well done. You see, you oh, good very, work. Round of applause. Very, very well there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Can only get better from now, right? Let's hope so. Well, yes. we're, we're getting pretty low here. <laughs> <laughs> still, still plenty to come. Mm. All right. Now we're going to go through some of the deals of the week. We're going to start off over on the. PSN. So this week we still have on PlayStation Plus Sonic Forces and Shadow of the Colossus. Obviously they were there I think last week. Probably a good two weeks to go on those. If you haven't got them, free go pick them up. Shadow of Colossus amazing game I have to say. It certainly yeah. is. And that's oh, the and... remake too. For anyone. Yeah, it was beautiful. Definitely just recommend. Wondering. PSN deals this week we picked up on Horizon Zero Dawn only because it's been in the news forever now um, that it has gone over to PC. We're going over to PC. You can get the complete edition on the PSN for nineteen dollars. Pretty sweet. Deal. That's Hold yeah. On. That's a lot of. That's a lot of. That's a lot of game there for a good price. Yeah, awesome, awesome game. Um, and to Amazing. top it off, we have Resident Evil Seven Biohazard. So that was the latest Resident Evil uh, for twenty one dollars twenty cents. I love that game. I thought it was such a fucking good way for capcom to come back and it's a good return to horror thing. yeah, yeah i agree definitely swinging over to the xbox we have batman the enemy within the telltale series we have shante the half genie hero and sonic generations weird games with gold this week we got resident evil 2 lots of resident evil this week um and star wars jedi fallen order for 65 dollars. resident evil 2 was 27 dollars 50 that's cheap yeah, it's very cheap Heading over to the Switch, we've got Luigi's Mansion 3 for $68. Didn't this just come out? Yeah. Quite recently. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's down by about 30%, I think. You sure Roughly. that's not a typo? Because fucking Nintendo never drop prices. No, it was, it, no. It, it, was, it was a sale. Um, it was there. Uh, that's, why I, that's why I put it on there, because it's a newer one, and Nintendo aren't exactly generous with most of their, with their, with their deals. No, um, right. Especially with their first parties. So you know, it's like, well, get in there while you can. Yeah, yeah, grab it. Might as well. Next week it'll go back up and probably cost you 200 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah. Um, over on the Epic Store this week, we have Anodyne 2 Return to Dust. And we also have a short hike and Mooter Zone. Uh, puppies, can you fill us in on what the hell these titles were? I would love to, but I can't. I was running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, either way, they're free over on Epic, guys. If you've got your Epic Watcher, go on there, click it, put them into your life. They have been on a bit of an indie binge lately. I know they're all independent games, but they've... um... they Yeah, they started their big indie binge like two, three weeks ago. So, yeah, in turn, that you do get some pretty good games out of it. And they're all free. Yeah, I need to pay more attention to the Epic Store. I do. I think think a lot of people... Everyone everyone kind of trashes on it a bit. It's like the cool thing to hate the Epic Store. But yeah, I mean, they anymore. give you like a solid amount of free games each week. So why the hell not? Yeah, I need to remember to check 
maybe this will be my reminder. Well, Check yeah. every week. There you go. No <laughs> Thank you. Thank Tuesday. you. I definitely need more games in that backlog. Yep. <laughs> gotta, st <laughs> gotta, gotta stop right. off for quarantine. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Are we ready for news this week? We've got. It's chunky. It's a chunky week. Well, there is one very, very big piece of news regarding Xbox. Let's get into it now. I'm going to just lead this off to make sure everyone understands. The first part of this is just a lot of technical jargon, but it has been confirmed by Microsoft to have all of this. And this is the official final specs for the Xbox Series X um, as confirmed by Microsoft. What, yesterday? I think it was. It came out. Yeah, it came out. Of, it was this morning or late last night, I think. Mm. So let's get into it again. Bear with me. There's not too much, but we'll get through it. Radio, starting off with its CPU, we have eight by cores at 3.8 gigahertz with a custom Zen 2 architecture. Its GPU, which is graphics core, uh, is 52 CUs at 1.825 gigahertz at 12 teraflops, which is their custom RDN A2. So for those who might have just glazed straight over on that, the Radeon 5700 XT and the just 5700 are the RDNA 1. So that was AMD's graphics card that they released last year. So this is the new model with the RDNA 2. Um, it has a die size of 360, uh, memory of 16 gig of GDDR6 with 320 megabyte bus, uh, 10 gig memory bandwidth, which is just insane. Storage is a one terabyte custom SSD. Um, what else is there? Expandable storage this time, which is very new. We haven't had that in ages, actually. One terabyte expansion card. Um, it supports external storage for USB 3.2. Optical drive up to 4K Blu-ray. Performance target is 4K at 60 frames with up to 120 frames as an option. Microsoft's target performance is being able to maintain 60 frames at 4K, but it'll go up to 120 frames at lower resolutions, most likely 1080p. Load times should be very fast as well. So now that we've digested that, I'll get through some of this other information now. So on the on the storage side, the Xbox Series X comes with a custom one terabyte solid state drive, which can be doubled by the way of proprietary expansion slot. That's right, memory cards are back. If upgrading the storage with this proprietary slot, Microsoft says speeds will be the same as the speedy internal SSD. So expect those to be expensive. Users can also add an external hard drive via USB 3.2 to store games on, but it won't run as fast. And you'll need to transfer games to an internal memory to actually run them. One thing that plays into this is what Microsoft is calling Xbox Velocity Architecture. It's a fancy term for what boils down to tighter integration between storage and software, which is optimized for streaming in-game assets. This will unlock new capabilities that have never been seen before in a console development, allowing 100 gig of game assets to be instantly accessible by the developer. The components of the Xbox Velocity architecture all combine to create an effective multiplier on physical memory that is, quite literally, a game changer, Microsoft says. Holy Jesus, there we go. We Did you see the, the videos? Have you seen I've the seen tech something. demo videos? Um, so yeah. Xbox have released some tech demo videos. There's one of loading times, um, and there's another one of them using their what the, the game switching. What are they calling it? Something, yeah, when it um something catchy and thing. smart. But yeah, um, I think I think it's resting. Whatever it is, when they um when you can hot resume them. Yeah. Yeah, so they had a demo of this. Um, I think the, the loading one was the biggest one because uh, they did it with State of Decay, which is notorious for having like four-hour loading times. It is... Oh, State of Decay 2, rather. is terrible. Um, but they had it next... They had, they had the two screens next to each other. And by... So the, the, the Series X had loaded, played, killed a few zombies, and emptied a house full of loot by the time the xbox one x so their newest one had loaded in that's insane it is like it is twice as fast if not faster as far as loading is concerned um their resume demo was really interesting as well it um so when the so when they switched it like it brings you because i watched the, the xbox one that i watched um 
Uh, there was someone else um, on YouTube that got their hands on one with the supervision, supervision of Microsoft and they did like their own demo. Um, and so if you exit out, it immediately pauses the game and leaves it at the pause screen and you change games. It takes about, I want to say, six, seven seconds between loading each game and you're back exactly where you were. Hit play, like hit start and go. But it was yeah. it was lightning fast. It was really cool. They did all like eight games in a row, and just like kept skipping between them. That, and that that, that seems to be the thing that Microsoft, uh, in particular, uh, are targeting is speed. Is everyone wants to get into the game fast, move through the game fast, not sit there watching a menu, watching a loading screen. You know, back out, go do something else, come back, load in, go in again. So that's that's cool because that's always been an issue with all consoles. Just taking their time nearly really getting in and loading up and getting into it. Missy, what do you think? I know, I'm sitting here a bit X. tight-lipped. Um, I'm kind of renowned for not being a huge Xbox fan. Um, I did love the 360. There was some really great exclusive titles on the 360, like, uh, you know, Fable, Bioshock, Left 4 Dead, all those games but that are now available on PC. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, the Xbox, uh, the current gen, has been a dud for me. Um, like, it's really great to hear about all this technology and the hardware. Like, it's it's this is going to be a beast of a console. But for me, I'm more interested in the content that they're going to create on it. Uh, Game-wise, I'll be really interested. I, I would love to see exclusive titles come back to the Xbox. Um, yeah. But in, yep. in this day and age, I don't know. I don't know. Like Sony's definitely doing themselves favors by having their exclusive titles. They're killing it with their exclusive titles, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Xbox has just not been there. As as a PC player, I yeah, I haven't really missed out on anything. I guess. Yeah, no, so I've, and that's... I've noticed that as well. Um, yeah. Like since moving to PC, I'm like, well, I have made my. I've, I've got two Xboxes upstairs. One for my wife and one for the kids. And I I never seem to have the need to use it because most of them I can most of the Xbox games that I play are on the PC now PC. anyway. So yeah, it's, it, I mean it's good that they're creating that kind of environment. And I know they're going to be moving in with the um uh, pro, uh the Project X Cloud, um where you'll be able to kind of what use your um console or your PC as like a server and just kind of play remotely. The play anywhere um, thing, yeah. Yeah, the play anywhere thing. I think that's going to really work well for what they're building. Um, but it's it's going to be interesting to see how they handle exclusives and stuff, um, especially since Sony is so focused on that as well. Mm -hmm. So Sony and Nintendo really are really focused on it. See, Microsoft, have, it it always comes back. Doesn't matter how powerful the system is or whatnot. Um, it is your games that end up driving said system. Uh, in my opinion yeah, yeah absolutely oh, yeah it, it is because i mean if 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 it was power reliant only then you know, everyone would save up and get a pc and yeah uh, you look at the switch just like uh, it, it is a, an amazing console that it is it's still the weakest out of the whole lot in regards to raw you know pound for pound power but yeah. it's ips it's exclusives is oh, what sells pushes yeah. that and with that, with with selling more consoles and getting more people on board to your brand, obviously you can get more games. Mm -hmm. That's what Microsoft has been lacking um, this whole entire generation, to be fair. Yeah, and I mean, it's going to be a, an amazing piece of hardware for a couple of years until next gen of PC accessory comes out. That'll be better. And yeah, but if there was an exclusive, if they were to say, hey, we're making another Fable game, it's only on Xbox maybe maybe i'd be interested yeah maybe i mean i have a big motivator as well but it still hasn't been enough in that the majority of my community are xbox players and they're always That's like we'll, we'll we'll raise enough money we'll get you one we'll get you one i'm like guys no no i like i love you guys <laughs> but yeah it's it's a tight <laughs> stuff. i'm just not sold yet i'm just not sold but have they uh actually announced like any games that are coming exclusively to the console or uh, like what are we I know we've got a Halo game coming out as far as we know all the first parties are PC and console agnostic yeah um, so I guess we say goodbye to Xbox exclusive games right I think that so far I think I think it's That's more the point bad. of um, looking at them less as Xbox exclusives, but now as Microsoft exclusives. Microsoft, yeah. Yeah, as a whole. I think that's what yeah. they're trying to do: is the Xbox being the console, and then Microsoft being the brand. 
Yeah, um, makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I'd like to see more crossplay then. Hopefully. That has to be a that has to be a big thing this generation for sure. I hope so. Uh, yeah, this next generation is crossplay between between all of them. Sony, yeah, I would like Sony to get more on board for sure. Yeah, they definitely have to. They definitely have to pull their finger out. So yeah, they with, do. They do. <laughs> Agreed. With um, I'm not super surprised because obviously some of the leaks have been coming out showing that you know we roughly knew it was going to be twelve teraflops, you know whatnot, and that it was going to be pushing the higher end of the PC gaming side. That's how powerful this thing was was going to be. What do you think their next move is? So say. You would think now that PlayStation's move would be because no one knows anything about PlayStation. We know it's a damn logo, and that is it. They're just mm. they're, they're holding on to it's their enigma. information for whenever they want to release it. Do PlayStation? Do you think they go for power, or they drop the power? Don't worry about it, and just undercut the hell out of Microsoft because this console here is going to be. I would not be surprised if this launched at eight hundred dollars in Australia, at what that's got in it. That's typically the price for a next gen console, isn't it? On release, I think it was it's usually about that around much. Six fifty, seven hundred, around yeah. there. Well, this um, is a beast. I will admit, it like, yeah. it's a beast. I would expect, yeah, this is an AUD price tag, uh, by the way. But yeah, yeah, I could see so it. So you think? So you think Sony would come? Because I'm just interested in then where that leaves Microsoft. Because do we're pretty sure that they're going to do both companies are going to do their pro variants you know we'll split the systems again so yeah i don't see with the amount of stuff that they're jamming into this like and how high end they're going i don't see microsoft going higher like a, a pro model of the xbox series x i just don't know if you can it would be hard to go physically. higher wouldn't it yeah to be able to do it like yeah. especially within a year or two mm. but i could definitely see them cutting right back and scaling it right down to something you know in between for a much cheaper price because like a slim version sort of thing well, yeah they, they like, do have another kind of, console yeah. in the works apparently or microsoft do anyway they've, they've got like they're just still doing the whole generational thing where they've got like different versions um at different price ranges so there's different accessibility points for people to get them onto that service um so like mm -hmm. i know that the the one x's will still be selling the, the there'll be the, a newer slim version um i think is that no it's not scar it's something else there's a code name uh, for it. Anaconda, is that it? Possibly. It's been a while since we've heard about it. They've been pretty quiet. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it, the, this one will be there. The, 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 the big daddy one, it'll be expensive and high powered. And then they'll go, all right, here's a, they'll, they'll push that for a while. And they go, all right, here's a, a lower powered version. Can still kind of get most of the marks that you're after, um, mm. but it's a little cheaper. Yep. Uh, yeah. that's, what, that's the way I see them doing it as well. Um, especially I, if they if they can get something, you know, if Sony come out and give something a lot cheaper, um, but obviously nowhere near as powerful as what um, Xbox are going to have. And then in a year or two, Xbox can come back and release an even cheaper Xbox, you know, and bring people back in like that. I think that's a, it's a really smart move for Xbox to do. Yeah, I don't see Sony... Uh being in line with that hardware i mean it hasn't really ever i, I will xbox has sort of always had the better hardware um for me like i that's my opinion i think xbox has had the better hardware sony has had the better content um yeah, well, yeah the i'd say it's more possible that they release a console the ps5 and then later a couple of years release a pro version like we were saying I think that yeah, that's yeah. so they go the opposite way and go lower than it's high. The price instead of tag, they'll have the lower the lower yeah. price tag for yeah. sure. Yeah, which again, business wise, you'd think that makes sense for Sony because they've definitely got the market share, the name brand. Mm -hmm. is, it's much stronger than what uh, Xbox is. So you could you could come in with a cheaper console that still you know you're getting all you know the new Spider Man, the new God of War, yeah. yeah, all these crazy good IPs and new exclusives are all coming over, um, and when old mate and timmy go into the shop to go to eb games and they go oh, so it's you know well you can get the playstation 5 for this price and or you can go right up and get the new xbox series x for this price mm -hmm. yeah i think general consumer wise i think what sony are doing is going to be a smart move like if they if they come in cheap sorry i mean well, yeah you know, they couldn't yeah. just go stupid ridiculous and try and match them or get above them just to get that 
everyone likes that tag, the um, the most powerful console. That they yeah, they absolutely. splash it fucking everywhere. It gets put on every piece. That's that all we've get. heard ever. Yeah. At every all console release, most yeah. powerful console. PlayStation <laughs> did it at the start, and then Xbox do it, and then it, it it's the way it is because it is it's a catchy it's a catchy thing to have tied to your name. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Definitely, it's a, it's a good selling point. I'm super interested in this console. I think I love the the form factor of it. I watched Digital Foundry pull it apart um, and put it all back together. Man, it is it's so cool. The the tower design, having it, I reckon, will look awesome on the desk or next year next year TV. Do you like the design of it, Missy? I do. Yeah, it's yeah. it's basically a PC at this point. Let's be honest. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It is a nice design. Um, I'm still, yeah, very intrigued about the PS5. I, do we know when we're going to hear anything next? Nothing. They've been dead quiet on it. So I mean, quiet about it. I don't know I if mean, that's really... Maybe they're still working on it. They're trying to compete. Will they, are they waiting to hear these specs on the Xbox? I think they're holding, they were holding till after Microsoft, but I don't think we'll see anything until their kind of planned event that they had around that E3 time. I mean, no, no, E3 is not a thing anymore but or not this year but i think they'll be waiting for then and that gives them plenty of time to let microsoft do their thing and get all their cards out on the table and then mm-hmm. kind of go all right how are we going to market this around it how do we because if they're already console? going most powerful console you can't have two companies going most powerful console yeah no exactly. so they have to play their cards and go all right how are we going to advertise this to everybody um mm-hmm. are we going to i mean are they, i think they're going to lean into the games and like i think last uh, PS4 is uh, for the player, um, so I, I dare say they'll be leaning into that um, as opposed to the raw power of the yeah. console, because that's where I the think, strengths uh, are. The, the main reason we haven't seen anything on the PlayStation Five is because the PlayStation Four is still got, it's got like fucking four exclusives coming out this year. We have some big games coming, and still, they're not yeah. tiny. They're, they're huge it's games. Huge it's like, games. It's, they, they are. You would everyone would just be pumped up to get one of these as your September release. Mm-hmm. We're getting all three, four of these things staged throughout the year. So if if they were to come out and you know announce their PS5, it might take the shine off that a little bit. It might that makes a lot of sense. Draw say, people's yeah. attention mm-hmm. away, go, oh shit, all right, I might need to put a PS4 dollars away. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna buy these games. And then, you know. Xbox come out with a you know a tricky trailer or something that's like really cool or a new game, new Halo trailer. And oh, hang on, I might put that money that I've been saving to mm-hmm. that console and not worry about these things. Might pick that up later. So because you got to think how like hundreds of millions of dollars has been invested into these new games coming out. You don't want to overshadow that by dropping your um you know your next big console at least until you get them. You know, get them out. Get them close to getting out anyway. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's why I think they're not doing it. That, anyway, we, I think we'll find out soon enough. Hopefully. Moving, moving on, we're off to a Resident Evil 3 demo. I and saw that announcement Evil today. Resistant open beta. Yes. Excited. So yes. Capcom has announced that the Resident Evil 3 demo will be released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on March 19th that the open beta for Resident Evil Resistance will begin on March 27th. More details were revealed on the blog post on Capcom Unity, and it appears to not have any restrictions like the Resident Evil 2 uh, one-shot demo that gave players one chance and 30 minutes to try out its remake of the 1998 classic. Uh, The Resident Evil 3 demo will begin on March 19th at uh, 12 a.m. ET on Xbox One and 1 p.m. ET on PlayStation 4. But the Resident Evil Resistance open beta is starting on March 27th. Who's excited? I am. I am excited. Like, yes, horror game. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yay. I'm Uh. excited. I've just, I've definitely had my reservations about Resident Evil 3. I just, oh, it came so suddenly, didn't it? Like Resident Evil 2 came out and then um, I know that they were talking about, let's wait and see how successful this is before we before we move on to Resident Evil 3 remake. And then it was just like, bang, there it is all of a sudden. And now it's releasing in a few months. I just, 
I don't know. It feels very rushed. Um, okay, so that's a valid concern, were... actually. I know they that they're were, using the yeah. same engine, so that save that obviously saves them a lot of time in production. They were they were actually making Resident Evil three at the same time as two. Oh yeah, they same did. engine makes sense. It makes sense. They literally just... they had two different development teams. One was doing two. Um, it mm -hmm. was a little bit ahead, obviously, and then three started because they um, they took a lot of uh, like designs from the tyrant, Mr. X, and tried to like you know mash him Nemesis. up. Nemesis. And you can Nemesis see that. And whatnot. You can and see that. Like... And I don't know. I did see some gameplay, and um, it was a sewer area with Jill, and it looked a lot like a reused sewer area from two. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if anyone else noticed that, but in saying that, like, um, Resident Evil is very close to my heart, the series in itself. Um, two is my favorite, the OG two. I did enjoy the remake. Um, three is my second favorite. So yeah, I will play it a hundred percent regardless. And I'm also interested in the the resistance. Definitely, I missed the last beta. Did you get to play? Uh, no, no, I didn't. No? Play the okay, so this will be my first time checking it out. I'm definitely interested in it. Yeah, so same. I'm... I'll be checking both out regardless. I'll tr I'll try that demo out. Um, yeah, I do like the re the reimagined Jill. I do like. I'm not a fan of Carlos. I'm like, where's my <laughs> where's my Latino Carlos? Like, come on. Uh, but, this is definitely a different Carlos this time. He's a different Carlos, but I did see he's still cocky, like flirty. Like, I do I do. He has the same sort of attitude, but but like physically, um, he looks a lot different. And yeah, and the nationality thing as well. It's a bit well, big Capcom change. have they have said that they are it, it's not a one to one remake they they are taking some liberties and you know, it's, yeah uh, yeah it's closer to a closer to a remaster than a remake the well, other way around yeah. the other way no yeah not a, it's not a remaster closer to a remake than a remaster yeah they changed a lot yeah true yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember how words uh, work it's fine but they're also <laughs> so there's a couple of other things that are different with it as well there's no um, the live events, I don't know if you remember those, um, like when Nemesis would show up, you'd get, you'd get an option. Oh, you'd like choose a direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, and that would uh, change your ending around depending yeah. on your options that you pick. That's yep. gone. That's no longer in the game. There's only one ending this time. Um, that we know of so only far. one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So they did that so they could, they reckon, so they could tell a more... It's more linear. Yeah, a cohesive story this time that kind of made more sense than what the original did because the original didn't really it was a little weird i do hope uh, uh just to cut it i do hope that we do get more of a backstory on nemesis in this game because would, he's a bit of an enigma isn't he that would it, be good i would like to hear more of a, an origin story on nemesis that would be really cool definitely i'm uh i'm so i i just recently went back through um re2 just because i'm way too excited to play yeah re3 um, and it's not long. What do we got? We're like two weeks. Two, yeah, three, it's so three close. It, that's what I mean. Like, it's just come out of nowhere and it's like, bang, it's, it's I did. I was shocked when we got a release date. I'm excited. Yeah. It's definitely, I'm going to check it out regardless. Hopefully um, my review code gets here. Come on, Capcom. Hopefully. Go, Capcom. Love us. Love, Love us. us. Get it sent out. All um, right. Moving on to our next story. Sources. Uh, has Sony has at Sony, sorry, has two Silent Hill titles in development: Silent Hill Reboot of Japan Studio and Silent Hills at the Kojima Productions. So Sony Interactive Entertainment is working on a pair of Silent Hill titles, according to Rely on Horror. Konami and Sony Interactive Entertainment are working together on these projects, with the development process looking kind of like this: Silent Hill Reboot is getting done by Japan Studio Project Siren and the developers behind Siren and Gravity Rush. Silent Hills is getting done by Kojima Productions, the original developers of the cancelled PlayStation 4 exclusive. Um, we all remember that one. The report states that Silent Hill has been in development for around a year now, and that Kinchiko Toyama and Akiri Yamoka will return to the project. Um, are they the original, original devs? I'm not too sure. As for Silent Hills, the Kojima, uh, the Hideo Kojima directed horror title starring Norman Reedus has apparently resumed talks between both Konami and the PlayStation giant, and they are looking to be all ready to go. Jack of all controllers, uh, the source, uh, sources close to Sony has also confirmed to us that Konami is actually 
open to making Silent Hills restart its development, so which is likely to happen. Both games will end up being exclusive to PlayStation 5, though. Details are just as scarce as rely on horrors, so we aren't really able to add more details beside, yes, to our knowledge as well. These games are happening. Interesting. Um, it's a bit conflicting, isn't it? I'm a huge Silent Hill fan. I've played, you know, all the titles, but... Uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Why are they making a? Why are they rebooting the franchise, and then possibly mm. working on Silent Hills as well? Like it's. Yeah, it, it seems, it seems weird, but because uh, everyone, everyone knows, like Kojima wants to go ahead, like really wanted to go ahead. Um, the demo that he did. What do, I keep forgetting about it. PT. PT. That's it. Yeah. Um, really wanted to go ahead with that and kind of spin that into a. A new game, maybe that's what this could be. Mm-hmm. Readers, um, who, kn- who knows? It's it is weird that they're doing two. I think two is a bit overkill. Yeah, I would rather them focus their efforts on the reboot if they're going to do that, and then if they want to do so. Because I know Kojima was in talks of doing a horror game. Whether this mm-hmm. is the same thing now that I think we're just getting too many rumors at the moment. I'd probably wait for something more solid at this point. But but I definitely. the the prospect of a Silent Hill franchise reboot is exciting, definitely. And to have Kojima back in the in the development team would be amazing. Uh, and having his uh, his brain do a horror horror game, especially a uh, psychological one like yeah, Silent Hill, which he's is just that would be absolutely element, nuts. It? It's it would his be. element. It would be, yeah, because um, mm-hmm. Norman Norman Reedus was also in talks this week apparently about going back to doing. He he was asked about, are you doing something more with Kojima? And he said, yes, there are things. Oh, working on. so the love affair continues. Okay. It's definitely yeah, it could I'm be not a huge. I'm not. I'm not aboard the Norman Reedus hype. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's just me. But that's another. Yeah, no, story. I'm, I'm 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 with you on that. I'm I'm not. Uh, he's okay, but I'm not. I don't get the the hype at all yeah no yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> it is weird i don't know why you why you keep going back to him he did he did a he did a fantastic job at Strand, so maybe that's why he did but even then i would not say that his performance was really at the forefront of that game i i felt that even as the the main character like he was kind of not the main character does that make sense like yeah he didn't. I it wasn't. Where, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. It could also be a time thing. It might be really hard to get other people on board doing these projects because it'd take a while to go film all this because they acted. Oh yeah. Really hard. Yeah. Absolutely. So maybe there's a time constraint. I'm. Uh, I'm in though. If you give me, it, how long has it been since a Silent Hill game? I can't even remember the last one. Downpour. No, Homecoming. Is homecoming? it Homecoming or Downpour? That was the last one. See, that is that is so long ago. And that this. was PlayStation Three. I That's don't think there's yeah, because wow. I did, a... I did a playthrough of the series last year, and I, yeah, PlayStation I'll Three, be... I think. Have you ever played the series before? No, I haven't. No, no. <sighs> so these these last two stories, I've been quiet, but these last two yeah, stories, no. I'm just like, um, okay. No, it's cool. um, that, is, that is that is not kind of I don't know, like I'm not a huge horror fan. I just don't find it interesting. Um, whether that's because I'm a little messed up and I just don't find horror scary at all. Um, it's not just about the scare for me. Like I don't play horror just for jump scares. Like you know those cheap jump scare horror. Oh games. yeah, that's no, I know, I know exactly horror. what you mean. Yeah. I love the lore. Like there are some horror games, and I could give you a huge list of horror games with amazing lore. Um, yeah. that's, that's what I love. And Silent I, Hill I'm is not, definitely one of those. I'm not looking for, for jump scares. I just, I just don't find anything scary enough to validate playing. So, oh, okay. Well, Cause I'm like, mm. most of the time I play through, I can kind of pick what's happening and it just, it doesn't phase me enough to put me in a, a true state of like, fuck that scare the shit out of me. Or, you know, mm-hmm. like I'm looking for that to kind of mess me up before I go to bed kind of feeling. And I just, I just don't get that from anything I play. You wouldn't um, from these titles either. These yeah. Are, yeah these I, are I think I'm looking for something that doesn't exist, but that's 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 what I'd look for in a horror. Uh, something that genuinely terrifies me, like, like, mm-hmm. like, uh, like, affects me after I'm kind of. Have you ever played? I'm Anthem? done with the game. What's that? You ever played Anthem? Yeah, but that was a whole different kind of scary. <laughs> oh, that was yeah, terrifying. <laughs> 
that, that, that was more heartbreaking than scary. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Radio. Moving on to our final news piece this week. Control's new DLC shows new powers and new secrets in the foundation. So keeping in line with Control's mysterious atmosphere, the developers at Remedy refrained, refrained sorry, from divulging too much about the expansion's plot. We do know that the expansion will take place after the events of the main game when Jessie gets a call from the board alerting her to a disturbance that's causing the oldest house's subterranean level, the foundation, to go haywire. The Bureau's head of operations, Helen Marshall, will also figure prominently into the expansion after she mysteriously went off on her own during the main storyline. Control, Control's game director, Michael, described the expansion as an opportunity for Remedy to take the open-ended nature of the environments even further. The new area that you get to access is filled with mystery, discovery, and player-driven exploration. As is the way of control, off it is embedded with symbolism. Exploring the foundation of the oldest house is also about exploring the very foundation of Jessie herself. Who she is as the director, and where does she need to go from here? Jessie will be tested unlike ever before. Who played control out of you two? I played Not it. I. Not yet. You haven't played Oh, I played well. it, yeah. All right, Ms. E, what do you think of Control first? Give me a rundown quick. Uh, yeah, it didn't resonate with me as much as it did with others. Um, mm -hmm. It was great. Ashtray Maze in particular was incredible. It was an incredible sequence in the game. It's probably the best play part of the game. <laughs> uh, but I just found it very... I, I, I was left feeling a bit unsatisfied. With the ending or just, just the game? Just with the story as a whole, it was very, I don't know. Uh, I It was one of those games I had to go back and Google afterwards. Um, to, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know. It, yeah. Wasn't wasn't a huge one for me. It was good. I was, but... I'm, I was the same as you. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I think it's a, a cracker of a game that people should definitely go and check out, especially if you're into third person. Um, you know, shooter games. Mm. I I really enjoyed the X Files vibe that it kind of had going on, and I remember when we first covered this and talked about it, the collectibles in the game were just I I needed to go find all of these because I really enjoyed reading all the lore, like seeing all the stuff that's redacted out, and having it all tie into like some real world events that have actually happened, uh, tying into Alan Wake, which I recently went back through as well. Um, before playing control so every, that was all like super fresh mm -hmm. so yeah i i kind of really enjoyed it i understood the ending i don't know maybe because i went through and read all of that extra crap that i didn't shouldn't have i think that would have helped you to be honest yeah, yeah i had a, a pretty good understanding of, of what they were going for i'm pretty keen for the foundation i'm gonna definitely go check it out because that it's hard to talk about without spoiling it Hang on. No. Um, we'll put a spoiler warning on, guys. So if you haven't played Control yet, um, don't listen. And yeah. um, I'll yeah, unplug for a moment. Give me a wave when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so when you go down into... It's one of the final parts of the game where you've got to go down into the subterranean area. Do you remember that? Where it's all like the huge pillars like, and they go... Yeah, yeah. yeah I know exactly it, what like, you're talking about. It, does, it looks like a fucking foundation. To be yeah. fair, that's exactly yeah. what it is. Um, yeah, I just found that whole area. There's some weird collectibles in there that kind of hinted this was. I just found that super cool. Before and then, obviously, you got the ashtray maze before you go down and kill. Um, that was a great sequence of the game. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. See, I'm not a completionist, so I really wasn't interested in all those collectibles, and that maybe was why I didn't have the same experience as a lot of other people. See again, no, that's not. So that's not your fault, though. That's they should have maybe the game should have gave a better understanding of kind of what you're doing. Um, there's nothing worse than getting yeah, towards the end, but maybe. getting towards the end of the game and nah, can't even. I don't even understand what the hell just happened. I think as a um, content creator as well, like it's different. It's a different world when you're streaming a game compared to playing it offline. I definitely invest a lot more time into games that I'm not streaming. That's um, true. Yeah, so that could have been it too. There is distractions and stuff like that. It could have been, you know, time and place sort of thing as well. Who knows? Could have been. Yeah, that, that, that does make sense. Mm. We'll, um, we'll bring puppies back in. 
<laughs> poor, poor oh man. God. Just oh no, man. hang on. We're okay. Just... Tangles. We're okay. I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> you okay? Well, I'm fine. It's okay. I was so we ended alone. Up not even really spoiling a great deal of it. Anyway. Oh my god! At least, I, at least when I go through and edit it, it won't be ruined. <laughs> no, <I don't> <laughs> edit it. it'll be fine. I'll just do that should. entire section. Uh, you should though, puppies. When you do, yeah, I'm, it's it's on my rather large backlog that I have to catch up to after I've played all the other PlayStation Relatable. exclusives. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's Especially it's hurting me. Coming this year, yes, it's just I like know. piling up. <laughs> I know, and like Doom's into like Doom's next week. I'm like, fuck. Animal Crossing, Doom. I think we got Half Life Alex coming out soon. Resident Evil Three. All Jeez. the things. It's too much. All the things. My wallet cannot take it. No. I, t I totally forgot about Half Life Alex. Mm hmm. That's out like yeah. three days. Damn it. I mean, oh, you have shit. a VR system. Yep. You have. Okay. Oh, I. Oh, yeah. I'm excited for that. Um. A little disappointed, but excited at the same time. I think everyone got a little bit dis disappointed when they when they showed that title, <laughs> Half-Life, yeah, but... and everyone was like, <gasps> that Alex, and then they showed the VR, and it was like, ah, <laughs> come yeah. on. No, no you tease us. How <laughs> dare you. Yeah. Well done, well done Valve. Mm -hmm. Well, that is it. Um, That's it from us tonight. We're done with all our news and all the cool things. Miss C, before we do head off, mm -hmm. give us a couple of games you're looking forward to this year. Um, that you're looking forward to, especially streaming or maybe one that you're looking forward to playing offline. Yep. So obviously we were talking about Resident Evil 3. That's definitely one I'm going to be playing. Um, Doom Eternal is definitely one I'm going to be playing. Half-Life Alex. Uh, we've got Final Fantasy VII Remake, obviously. I'm like already like preemptively a little heartbroken about that though. Like, Don't I even haven't, talk about it. Yeah, I haven't touched the demo. I haven't touched the demo because I, I just... <sighs> The thought I, I'm excited for it. It's a huge. It was a huge part of my upbringing. Res, uh, sorry, Final Fantasy VII. But just to know that as soon as I get out of Midgar, it's going to be over, and then I have to wait an in, an indefinite amount of time for the rest of the game. And it's just yeah, I'm already a little bit heartbroken about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't but... like the seasonal that the seasonal approach. It's gonna it's gonna hurt, especially like you guys who have played hurt. the game before. It's gonna hurt. I, uh... I don't, I don't think they're doing themselves any favours. Like, it's a bit of a controversial, controversial topic, but I don't think Square Enix is doing themselves any favours by doing this episodic. But I can understand in a sense as well. I would have been happy to wait a little bit longer if I could get the full game on release. But I think but yeah. we'll, uh, with that one, before we, we, I think we are going to have to wait and see because they are, they are making the game not only for the but for, for new players. a lot of new players. And yeah. a, for a lot of yeah. new players um they're not going to have that experience that you and i are going to have they're not going to get to end of Midgar and go shit yeah they don't Fuck, know what's I'm coming really... yeah they're like, going to be like that's where the that's game really cool. like really you know yeah. yeah we know that they don't and i can i can understand that and yeah, so if we I'm, get to I'm, it, I'm new coming into it because I, I played the, the demo great like the experience is great oh. both had were, were very you very different never played the og um so i played the demo to give it a shot okay. I, I mean, it was okay, you know, it was good. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I didn't, I wasn't getting that nostalgia hit that Grey was getting, which changed my perspective on how things worked and how the systems worked and how they weren't like super new user friendly as much. Like yeah. there was things I didn't figure out until I accidentally did something because there was no prompt okay. for it. There was no like decent kind of, like, there was a tutorial, but it didn't show you everything quite. Um, but even, even for us, that's going to be new because the OG yeah, game was true. turn based. So we're not, I mean, we're used to it maybe if we played 15, because I'm pretty sure it's a similar system to, is it, I think it's a mixture of 15 and 13, I'm hearing, the it's battle way, system. Yeah. It's way better than 15. Way better. Uh, I hope so, because I really didn't enjoy 15. No, I didn't enjoy 15. I think yeah. you and I are the same in Final Fantasy World, and yeah. I really enjoyed the combat in this. Okay, well, like, there's a little bit. It. This is like, you, this the, is how you take a system? modern modern rpg game like go this direction with it. i think they're gonna do a kick-ass job with it. i just miss turn-based guys i miss you can turn play turn-based you can do the whole thing in yeah turn but it's like 13 turn-based right it's more of that slow-mo so it's think... not actually stopping it's like 13 uh, it slows it down enough that you'll think it stopped but you'll okay, be well, the game will fucking take forever holy christ it'll take a long time yeah well I'm, you know if i can prolong the the heartbreak a little bit more and <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just 
<laughs> I'm uh, I'm just very curious to see once we do get the enemy going. Um, if if I've got you know fifty hours out of it and they've added all this extra cool things that you know we never could have dreamt of going and doing um, in the original, then I'll be I'll be happy. I'll be quite happy to let it go and just whenever the next one comes, just jump. How straight do you, how long it. do you think they're going to make us wait? Well, I don't think we'll see another one for another three years. Oh, that's so long. Oh yeah, my I god, think, that's it painful. depends on the scale. It depends on the scale of this game. Like, so, like if we and get if if we can blast it it within 10, 15 hours, then we should have the next game. You know, within another year. But mm. I think from what they've said, there's like there's a hundred hours of gameplay in here. Yeah, that's yeah, a lot. They've added quite that's a lot. huge. So yeah. Yeah, you see, I probably won't be touching all of that stuff though. Like, I'm not. Again, I'm not like a completionist. Like, I'm not really the side quester. Sort of you never know. I, uh, you you wait till you hear that. You wait to hear that music. music. I've heard you it and I've cried when yeah. I've seen Aerith, and I'm like, "You're gonna be sucking straight all in." All the you... feels. I've se- yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Trust me, my heart hurts. <laughs> but aside um, from that as well, I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna be jumping on the Animal Crossing train. Um, I never played it before, but uh, I it's we were talking about it a bit before we started tonight. Um, I surprised myself in that I, I started Stardew Valley this year and um, I surprised myself in a farming sim. Like I actually found it super cathartic and I've sunk nearly 80 hours into the game. And I hear Animal Crossing is, uh, you know, along the same lines of Stardew Valley and obviously the um, ability to be able to play with friends and stuff as well was pretty cool. So I think I'm going to be, jumping on that and maybe having that as my new offline relaxing sort of game so i'll check that out it's on the switch so you just kick back in bed and yeah exactly nice. exactly and i, I really need to utilize my switch i do it's well, you're, you're not you're not the buying least. the animal crossing switch are you not getting that i'm not no come on <laughs> <laughs> wait i'll just jump on one of the hundred giveaways i'm seeing on twitter at the moment yeah yeah maybe i'll win maybe i'll win one <laughs> before we leave that animal crossing that it is getting some nutty reviews like it's doing really well it's That's right. good. Heaps, it's of, good. heaps of tens heaps of nines it's, mm-hmm. it's up there so yeah best of luck to you i'm definitely not even going anywhere near it no nah, not yet no, well, no, i didn't no. i didn't think stardew would be and now i'm like i want to get graveyard keeper as well like be all these farming sims <laughs> Puppies, real quick, what are you um, jumping into, mate, over the next few weeks? Um, next few weeks, um, I've got to finish Ori, and I've got to finish God of War eventually. Um, and oh, Doom, Doom, please, that Doom. game is so good. It's one of I am excited. I haven't just... played Doom in. Oh, oh my god! I, I know really I'm getting it. Time. I'm getting it a few days. I think about a week or so after release. Cause I'm getting it as an anniversary present. Um, okay, but. Yeah, you just want to break stuff and shoot things in the <laughs> face and just oh, so good. Like two, two Doom sixty, like two, the 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 newer one was so good. It was it was. Oh, I just can't wait to do it again. I'm more, looking forward to it. More. Yeah, I hear I hear it's like and then, ridiculously um, grotesque. Yeah, and uh, I love that shit. It, it, it's it's yeah. it's my jam. And um, also uh, Ghost of Tsushima when that comes out, I'm, I'm oh keen my god, for that. it's Don't it's the Assassin's it. Creed I always wanted. Oh, it uh, looks I'm stunning, so doesn't down. it? Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited for that, too. Does that, that come out this while. year? Yeah, it comes out in June. <gasps> June. It's, oh it's super God. close, yeah. Brace yeah, yourself. I'm, I'm so on board with that. It's like, I love uh, the East culture and, like, the music and the, the culture itself. It just, oh, it looks stunning. I'm really excited. Really excited for that game, too. No, yeah. see, Sony. Sony's killing it. <laughs> they are. Come on. Those exclusives. There's a reason yeah. I went and got a PlayStation. That's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. so much to catch up on. It's good. Horizon Zero Dawn. <coughs> it's I've got, I have it. It's in my list. I've got Horizon <laughs> Zero Dawn. I have I finished Spider Man. I'm doing God of War. I've got Last of Us to get through before Last of Us Two comes out. Um, and Ghost of Tsushima. I've got a lot to do in the next few months, and I do not have enough time. Certainly do. Yeah. <laughs> sure. You never well, know. You, might, you might get quarantined soon. Yeah, I might get might quarantined, and I'll just yeah, I'll just get into it. It'll be brilliant if that happens. That's all I'm doing <laughs> is just PlayStation exclusives all fucking day. Yeah. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Rightio. Well, that is it for us uh, this week. If you want to get in touch with the podcast, you can go over and find us on Twitter at a left underscore pod. 
You can also find us at 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday night over at Mixer at mixer.com slash deaf underscore puppies with a Z. Speaking of Z, Miss Z, where can people find you? Where's your socials at? So you can obviously catch me live streaming on Mixer and mixer.com slash Miss Z. And um, my socials are just limited down to Twitter. I'm very active on Twitter. So Twitter is uh, twitter.com slash Miss Z AU for Australia AU. And um, my Discord as well, if you want to join a community and have chats about all the things, it's just discord.gg slash Miss Z. Get oh. in there and go follow, join. Go all those links will be in the um fun. all those links will be in the description for those who are listening audio you should definitely go check z out she's a fucking cool chick um so, yeah it's it. been good though this is this has been a right I've, I've had i've had fun i mean even with all the, the resident evil talk it's been great <laughs> <laughs> it's been so good i have to say it's been so good to have a talk like you know about more than just what i'm playing when i'm live streaming like it's good yeah. i really enjoyed this so thank you guys all right, absolutely our pleasure well that is it for us thank you very much and um we'll see you next week just with puppies and i though yeah Bye. we'll um guest every second week we'll guest every announce second. that next week we'll, once we figure out who it is because we are super organized and professional at all times <laughs> I've already, I've, i already know who it is oh my god I, look, I, said, I don't even know we'll be surprised <laughs> together it'll be good <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. We love your faces and we will see you same time next week. Bye. Bye.